destroy cover four and cover three match coverages with this glitchy route. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so, guys, I got a subscriber request. One of my subscribers requested that I, he, had, he ran into a game where he was playing against someone that was using um, the Chiefs. And he co constantly was getting attacked up top. He was getting beat up top. Uh, against uh, a guy that was using to kill now what I want to do is I want to show you basically a concept that's going to beat these type of coverages now uh, according to what he was doing he says I play I was in a dog fight with uh, games and regs last night against the Chiefs I won using the Dolphins 31 to 28 running the ball controlling the clock but the dude kept bombing me over the top with Tariq Hill I matched up my seat my, my cornerbacks with speed but my 92 speed Byron Jones which is one of the elite wide uh, 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 defensive backs in the game couldn't keep up with the 99 speed I ran cover four palms quarters I ran cover three match all out big nickel G over G I didn't press a shade over the top I even wanted to adjust the coverage just back my guys off a deep half but he still still kept bombing me three kill had four TDs and 238 yards any tips next time I'll play the Chiefs with well, lol all right so um, this is basically a situation um, that uh, is really exposed by the type of coverage that that this uh, by that this guy was using. So um, uh, you, the Screw You Army uh, was using he was basically using Palms coverage, which is right now it's pretty OP. It's it's a hard coverage to beat um, because it has all these weird matching principles and it peels off guys and adds guys and stuff like that. Uh, and it, it is something that will really catch you off guard, but. Uh, if you know that you can use a double move, a double move will essentially go ahead and toast uh, basically um, a cover, like a, a cover for coverage or a palms coverage. So let me just show you something really quick. Uh, I want to show you a particular play that you can use in your scheme. And this is a very, very popular play, and it's called the play action dive. And this will destroy cover four, cover three match, and a lot of these matching or man principle type de uh, defenses is a lot of people like to run online. So the play we're going to look at is going to be the play action dive. And this is out of the single back wing tight, the single back wing tight. Now, this is a very, very popular uh, play. You can find this in the 49ers, the Bills, the Broncos, the Buccaneers, the Colts, the Cowboys, the Dolphins, the Eagles, the Giants, Jaguars, Jets, Panthers, pa Patriots, the Power Run, Saints, and Washington. So you can find this in a ton of play playbooks. You know, we're looking at about 16 different playbooks that actually have this play. And this play will toast anybody that uses Palms defenses or match defenses against you. And it's going to give you an opportunity for a one play touch and let me show you how it works so it's single back tight and uh, basically we're going to go ahead and jump into this particular play which is the play action dive now what screw you's Ar army was doing is he was, he was using a lot of quarters he was using basically palms uh, as his defenses uh, to, to play against this guy and I'm assuming he was using palms because of the matching principles and he had those two safeties will come down in the box when you run into uh, a player that uh, is using um, a team like uh, the Chiefs and you've got an explosive receiver like Hill, what's going to happen is that you're going to get an opportunity to go ahead and take the top off because you've got a complement of a fast, burning, fast wide receiver, but you also have basically an arm that can get that ball out there 80 yards. So with the Palms coverage, what happens is this defensive back actually is, is not playing a deep blue zone. He's playing man coverage. It's just the way that this game actually works. So what happens is right here is that this guy actually comes down and bites. And by the time he turns around, Tyreek Hill is actually going to go ahead and get past the coverage. And that's against Palms. So what if you use cover three match? Pretty much going to be the same situation here is that you're going to get this explosiveness with that defensive back, even though it's a star defensive back in Byron Jones. Now, another play he was using for defense was the cover one hole, which is, it is pretty stout against the run. But once again, you're going to get this explosiveness 
because it, it works like single coverage. So you're going to be able to give up. You're going to give up these one play touchdowns. So how do you stop something like this? Well, you're going to have to go ahead and use drop coverage, except you, instead of using a lot of these man principle defenses. So um, what you'll have to do is just make sure that um, you're going to use either drop coverage, which is going to be a cover three sky type coverage, or it's going to have to be a cover four drop that will actually go ahead and cover this up, or it's going to have to be um, a man under uh, cover two type coverage. So he was using big nickel. What's what happens if we switch into a cover a cover three sky? Well, with a cover three sky, see how that safety is over the top now. He's there to make a play. He's still getting passed by, but he's still there to make a play. Big difference than before were that that uh, defensive back is not even in that vicinity to make a play. Now, in the big nickel over G, which was the defense he was using, it doesn't necessarily have a good defense, which is a cover four drop. So he's going to have to make an adjustment with his, with his coverage. And the simplest thing to do is just play a cover two, a man defense. So once again, watch. The guy, got, the guy gets beat, but look at this. The defensive back over the top is there to go ahead and bracket the coverage and able to go ahead and play the ball. So that's one of the quickest adjustments you can do is that you can just use a basic cover two man to stop this. But I'm assuming he had that, that type of coverage. He was running cover four because he wants to stop the run. And that's where you get basically these two for one type situations is that you can use, you can structure this particular, this uh, scheme right here, this running scheme. People look at this and they think, okay, I got myself uh, basically a, a good, uh, play to go ahead and use and then I can hit my opponent up top if he gives me that uh, gives me that single look off with Hill And you just hit him with the running game and whether it's outside or inside So if I was to go ahead and structure an offense to try to use this play action uh, full uh, fullback stretch or a flanker stretch to expose my opponent if I catch him in the wrong defense, I would use maybe the Saints. You've got some nice little counters right here. You've got a, a zone, but you've also got a nice little stretch alert ex looky, which is a stretch play. And stretch plays have been so effective in in the previous mad or in this past couple Maddens that most people are looking to stop those. So this is basically a two for one. If you run into a situation where you're playing against an opponent um, that uh, basically is using a lot of palms coverages to you, uh, he's using palms or match coverages and stuff like that, and you don't, you can't get the separation, you can always go ahead and jump into this play, which is the play action flank or stretch, and you can hit him for a one play touchdown over the top. Uh, conversely. If you run into a situation where um, you, he's running the ball and he hits you a couple times with these verticals, these stretches, these bomb plays, and you can't figure it out, and you see the, the play art, which is a play action flank or stretch, then what you want to do is you want to flip into drop zone coverages, or you can go into cover two uh, drop zone, uh, where basically it's a cover two man and you have two high safeties. So these are just ideas, these are ways that you can go ahead and be more successful in the game. I'm sure there's other things that he, this, this opponent was doing that was causing some problems for him but this is what I, I diagnosed really quick and if you use double moves against people you can use a double move type play you can use a double t a move type play and this will actually go ahead and beat those palm coverages those matching coverages uh, fairly effectively so you can see right here I'm in a totally different type of uh, offensive set but look how my man just gets completely destroyed by tree kill because it's a double move so Implement double moves into your game and you'll be able to go ahead and beat your opponent if he's running a lot of palms or matching coverages and man coverages because eventually you're going to go ahead and break them for a big one play touchdown. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. If you do like these type of tips, go ahead and make sure you smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive defense tips to take your game to the next level. So thank you for your support. Until next time.